Hey guys, well, I went to the concert last night. It was so good. <gasps> oh man, I cannot. Uh, it was so good, you guys. Um, Harry, it was so good. It was my first concert in over a year. And I felt safe. I just sanitized my hands. Um, man, it was so good. We got there so early. We went to Chastain. We got there. We were there. Actually, we were there probably around, it was like 440, but, so we go over there, and I had to go to the bathroom, so we, we, uh, turned around and went to a convenience store, and, um, but we got there, we were waiting in that parking lot. It was so stinking hot, but we, uh, when we got there, Eric was going to pay with the credit card and their little swiping thing, it, it like, it wasn't working, the credit card. So, so the guy was like, well, it's on, on us. Go ahead. So we, we didn't have to pay $25 to park. Um, so, that was a blessing. We didn't have to pay $25, but we were there early. And, um, so we, we, uh, sat in the parking lot underneath the tree, and, um, Eric opened the back, and I got my lawn chair out, and, um, I cracked open, well, Eric, he opened up all the food. He can't just, you know, wait. He had to open all of it. But we just sat out there in the parking lot. Um, at Chastain, you can take in picnics and stuff, but it's a pain to do that. I see people wheeling in their little coolers and, uh -uh. nope. Um, I did find me a clear bag to take. I could have taken my little, my, my, my backpack, but I just wanted to be on the safe side because the rules are just constantly changing for these places, what you can take in and all that. And because of the pandemic, they want minimum contact with stuff, so a clear bag. So... I, luckily, I found one at Hobby Lobby. Just a little clear. Because it was so easy. I just put my, my bag on the table. And the lady was like, okay, you're, you're good. But let me tell you what. Our seats were so good. We were in the uh, right side orchestra. So, Harry came out and, oh man, it was so awesome. The only thing, well, and also getting in, well, we got up, we walked in and we didn't have trouble. We didn't have to wait a long time. to walk in you know so but it was hot and humid oh man when the sun went down it finally got comfortable because I was dripping it was I was so I'm eating a Starbucks today turkey pesto um, and my usual iced almond chocolate milk. That apple iced macchiato was disgusting. I think I'm going to go see a movie today. It's Friday. But the Galleria, they changed their time on Fridays. Now you got to wait till like 4 o'clock to go to a movie. 
So, guess where I'm going? Halfstone Lake. I really like going to the Galleria because you can refill your drinks. You can do your own drinks. But, they have a list of things you can take in there. And it said you can take a small camera in there, not a professional camera. Because I've taken my camera in the Chastain before, but I wasn't getting my hopes up too high taking pictures. But, and like I said, previous videos, I don't know what it is about Harry Connick concerts, but every time I have seen him in Atlanta, doesn't matter if it's at the Fox or the Chastain or whatever, Cobb Energy Center, Symphony Hall. They don't allow you to take pictures at his shows. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know what that is. What is that? So but anyway, so I I did take my camera just in case. And I started taking, you know, pictures and everything. And um the the people that were taking the you know, helping people take find their seats and stuff, the ticket takers in the red shirt, you know. They didn't even care. I whipped out my camera. They weren't even saying nothing. So I took a, a few pictures. And then Eric Eric was trying to figure something out on my camera. And then one of the ladies in the black shirt with the little earpiece comes and tells us to put the camera away. And she was like, oh, you can you Hold on. There's a truck. Okay, she was like, you can use your camera. And I looked at her, I gave her one of these looks. What? I just went, I didn't say nothing. I just gave her a look when she said, you can use your cell phone. Like, what is that? Like, I don't understand that. And what difference does it make? Cell phone, camera? Like, I'm still gonna be taking a picture. Like, why can't I just use my camera? So, I mean, I use my, um, my cell phone, but I use my cell phone, but I don't, I was really aggravated because, you know, I tried, I did, I got a little bit of pictures and videos with my, my phone, but I'm, it, I got, they were blurry, like the lighting. I cannot figure out, I need to sit down, because this was the first time I actually used my camera on my phone for a concert, so I didn't know, like, the settings to use, so I was having, like, a lot of them, when I was zoom out, zoom in, or whatever, they'd get, he'd get really blurry, or grainy, or you really couldn't see his face. It was like a bright ball. But I tried. I, You know. I don't understand. If I was sitting up closer. I would have probably had better pictures. But I need to figure out the setting. Settings on my camera phone. And then. My digital camera. My digital camera would have been way better. But um. So yeah, we were sitting on the, the uh, right side orchestra. And so, I don't know if any of y'all been to Chastain Park. So, it wasn't like I could like sneak my camera back out. My digital camera back out after she told me to put it away. Because they, the security people, there's a stage entrance where, on that side, where peop, where the all the security people stand and they're standing up there so if i would have whipped out my camera they would have been they would have saw me now if i would have been sitting in the back i probably could have used my digital camera but anyway at least i got a little bit of pictures and videos with my phone thank goodness for phones i'm telling you and actually yesterday when i made my video i made my video yesterday and it cut off during my Starbucks breakfast mukbang. 
is because I ran out of space on my phone. So yesterday, before we left, I cleared off all my stuff on my phone to free up space. Thank goodness I was smart enough to do that. Well, let me tell you. When you go to Chastain, it's really aggravating because people are just constantly getting up and walking. People come right when the concert's starting at 8 o'clock. People wheeling in with their picnics and their coolers and the tables and all that. And like for the first 10 minutes, like when Harry came out for like 10 minutes, I couldn't even hardly see. But people kept, and I'm trying, I got my phone out doing this and they're just walking by. Walking by, don't care, drinking, being lit. And he was singing Christian hymns to Jesus. And people are, you know, he's singing How Great Thou Art. And people are holding up their liquor cups like this and just singing the songs to Jesus. And they're holding their liquor. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah. But he can play that New Orleans jazz. Oh my lord. It was so good. I got like a video I made. Like a 10 minute video of him just playing. When I was a kid. When I was younger. I didn't really like his, you know, just playing. I wanted to hear him sing, but now that I'm older, I like when he just plays. Um, so Eric, he, I took some pictures of him before the show because he was playing his, his video games on his phone. I'm surprised he even put the phone down, but he did. He watched the show. He likes Harry. I'm just thankful that I didn't have to provide a vaccination card or a COVID test because um, I just saw that Michael Buble on his website just posted that people are going to have to provide a vaccination proof of vaccination to go to his shows after they put they did that after people said or after people bought their tickets then they did that so yeah so I'm, I'm just you know Harry was the first real concert that I've been to and I'm so thankful I didn't have to do any of that and, I mean, Eric's like, don't be buying tickets for anything. Oh, I, I'm going to really try not to do that because you just don't know nowadays. I never would have thought there'd be a day where you would have to do something like that just to go to a show. It's, it's crazy. Um, so, Harry... Every time he comes to Chastain Park, he always has family and friends in the audience. One of his daughters was there last night. Last time we saw Harry at Chastain, his wife and his daughters were there. But I'll tell you what, and I'm going to say it again, I love Harry Connick Jr. I love, love, love. He is my favorite singer. Oh, and last time we saw him, first of all, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I was able to at least use my phone to take some pictures. I mean, they, they might have turned out like crap, but at least I have some pictures and videos now. Um, but they had t-shirts this time. 
he they only had like a tote bag one type of shirt and a hat that's all i saw so i bought a shirt and a um tote bag i was so glad so overall everything was great my seats were really good i was able to at least use my phone to take some pictures and videos eric didn't complain and that I was able to get a t-shirt and a tote bag. If you guys want a good lunch sandwich, get this. It's a pesto turkey sandwich panini from Starbucks. It's got red peppers on it and turkey meat and pesto. They have a mozzarella type sandwich and it's got tomato mozzarella and um spinach i don't like the spinach on it it's kind of nasty with all the spinach melted together so I, I like this one this one's not too bad oh this has cheese on it also but harry um He has a new CD out right now. I don't know if y'all saw my, my, my um, review on it. Alone. Alone with my faith. But um, I'm, I'm trying to see my time. Okay. Um, so you would think that he would do like the album. You know the whole album of you know what he has out at the time. But he doesn't at all. Sometimes he don't even do any songs from his latest album. But sometimes he might do one or two songs. Because he's a, a musician. He's a, a real musician. Um, that's why Eric likes him. Because he's a real musician. He can play multiple instruments. He writes his own songs. Um, so yeah. So he did... A th he did like two about two songs from his alone with my faith album <coughs> and um and then the rest he did um from when harry met sally soundtrack he did it had to be you buddy and he did um from his um, 1999 album, he did Come By Me. I love when he does that. And then, I recorded, I recorded his whole last, um, his encore. He came, he does an encore. I got that whole thing. It's like a five minute I had I had to get that. He was jamming on that. I'm trying to think what the song he he does it all the time. It's not the Mardi Gras song. There's two songs that he does as an encore. I get them mixed up. It's one about Mardi Gras and the other one's about Bourbon Street. I cannot I get them mixed up, but just go watch my videos. I'm going to post them on YouTube. I think I'm going to go see a movie at the Houston Lakes today at 1. Because it's kind of hot. <coughs> and guess what? <coughs> Eric took off today. So, you know what he was doing when I left? He was on the computer, not working. He took off. Okay, he's he's working. He's working on something, but it's not it's not work work. It's he's working on a his Clash of Clans website that he made. That's what he's working on. Uh, he's got a Clash of Clan website that he made for all of his little Clash of Clan buddies. Um. And then we got our Netflix in the mail yesterday. And it's stupid Game of Thrones. So 
so anyway he was like so yesterday he was like tomorrow I'm gonna take off uh, and I'm gonna work on my Clash of Clan website and then I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones and then I'm gonna make me some popcorn and and I was like okay you do that you do that and leave and leave me alone and I'll leave you alone so he's he's got his day planned hey I know I cuz I got mine planned I got my activities planned I'm gonna do I, I think I'm gonna go to a movie today I'm a, I think I'm gonna go see that Candyman movie that scary movie today and I do I still want to see respect I'm gonna wait till uh, five dollar Tuesday to see that um, but I'm just enjoying, I'm just enjoying this, uh, sandwich, man. And I think I'm going to go swimming today. Try to get a bunch of that in. I've only been swimming maybe like twice this week. Um, I got a, I got video ideas planned. I got my, um, you know, I got some mukbangs I'm going to do. But that caught me in, you guys. Oh, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it. I knew it. It was perfect. Um, it was just hot to, at the beginning. Um, and then these women, I'll tell you what. I saw, I mean, they, they're all dressed up. It's an outdoor concert. And, like, I saw this woman wearing these big old high heels walking around. Look, I wore my Crocs, man. And a shorts and my t-shirt. And when my makeup started running off my face, I got my, I had a sweat rag and I just went, Psh, I don't care. Um, but I saw a lady wearing white pants. White pants. I don't, uh, I don't wear white clothes. I don't like them. Because knowing me, I would stain, stain something. Well, guys. I think I'm going to get off of here. Um. Man, that, oh God, that concert, I just can't even stop talking about it. And I, I mean, like I said, I felt, I felt safe. I didn't feel scared going, shoot. I'm going to enjoy my concert. You know, I saw some people wearing masks, but it wasn't like a lot of masks. I wasn't, I sure as heck fire wasn't going to wear a mask. It's hot outside. I'm going to pass out if I put one of them on. Man, it is nice. Oh, I got my my parking spot today by the tree at the mall. Nobody's out here. I think when I come in the morning, it's because people are out walking in the mall parking lot. But it's a breeze. I might just stay out here instead of go to the library. But yeah. When I joke about Eric and stuff like that, I'm just playing. It's not serious. Look, it's not serious. I'm not trying to be all serious all the time. Look, I'm just having fun. I'm just trying to keep it fun on here. Because a lot of people like to get on their Facebooks and their, their stuff and be all complaining and serious about everything. I'm just having fun. That's all I'm doing. And Eric, Eric don't care. He knows. He knows I'm just playing. It don't hurt his feelings at all. Everybody's like, why are you, why are you mean to Eric? Don't be mean to Eric. I'm not being mean to Eric, please. For, if you really want to know, he's spoiled. He's spoiled. 
It ain't even like that, man. He is spoiled. I mean, I I spoil him. Yesterday was dog day, National Dog Day. And I saw all these people posting pictures of their dogs. And I'm just like, man, it'd be nice if I had a dog. All these people, I mean, I just want a little dog. Like, just a little tiny dog. I need y'all to get on the prayer chain and pray over Eric. Pray that God will soften him and let me have a dog. And I have a specific type of dog in mind. Well, I don't know what breed of dog. I don't have like a breed. But I know I want a small. Like a, for our size of a house, I really need a small dog. Inside dog. I want just a small black puppy. A female. That's my requirements for a dog. I want a small cute little small black little female dog Pre preferably a short haired one that doesn't shed but it could be a long it, it, but I just want something small and cute black female I already got two names picked out I'm not going to tell y'all what they are but I know what I want to name them so I pray for the Lord to bring me that that dog that name I, I say the name of the dog that I want him to bring me and I already know what I'm gonna do but I just need y'all to pray over Eric and get that prayer chain going so I can have my dog I've been married how long now you guys and still no dog I'm not gonna give up I keep I keep you know praying about it But, um, I think I'm gonna, um, get off of here. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Um, I'm gonna get off of here. Um, but I really need you guys to go and click on... Let me see how much time I got. Okay. I need y'all to go click on my videos. Please go, go check out my stuff. I would really appreciate it. Um, go click on my stuff and, and I need y'all's comments because I need to know if y'all like my videos if y'all want me to keep doing stuff or if you're just tired of me and you want me to go away I hope not um so please go click on my videos leave comments I, don't, I mean I'm seeing a lot of thumbs ups you know likes but I want to see comments I want some legit comments I want some legit subscribers um so yeah I'm gonna log off because my time is almost up and I don't want to go over um so and if anybody has any ideas for places for me to eat let me know because I'm running out of places yeah and my hair is looking atrocious again, so I need to get it done. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to a movie, and I will tell y'all about it when I go see it. So, look, just look for my things. Go, please, just go leave me some comments. I would really like to know what you guys think, and I'm getting off of here, and I'm, yeah.